live tonight now finding comfort at a time of loss is never easy. But as CBS 2's Dana Tyler reports, a new trend at some funeral homes is offering grieving families the comfort of a canine to help them heal. The minute my husband and I walked in the door, Lulu actually just sort of came up to me really calm and peaceful and just sort of put her head like against my leg like she knew. Lulu is a three-year-old golden doodle who spends her days comforting mourners in the Ballard Durand funeral home in White Plains. You could tell that the dog knew you were suffering. Donna Love was facing the inconceivable loss of her seven-year-old daughter Lily when Lulu offered her unique brand of affection to the family, trying especially to comfort Lily's sister Olivia. Matthew was having her do tricks, like she does a little prayer thing. It made everybody just sort of feel better. Matthew Fiorillo is the president of Ballard Durand and Lulu's owner. She'll just walk over and park herself by, right by somebody, and put her head on somebody's knee or or just curl up and, and just her calming presence is, is really what she does. That's her job. Lulu's had special training to comfort the grieving and knows once her vest goes on, she's at work. It's been a blessing. Oftentimes people come back, bring her gifts. Uh, I do house visits with her, families ask. Lulu had such an impact on the Love family, they have a new dog now named Champ. After a loss in her family, 13-year-old Gianna Corellis also found comfort with Lulu. Lulu takes your mind off of everything and not you focusing that my grandpa's gone. Having therapy dogs in funeral homes is growing in acceptance. Kermit is a year-old border collie working with Melissa Unfred at the Affordable Burial and Cremation Service in Austin, Texas. You just see people's emotions kind of float. They change. You see from tension to like relief when they come in contact with him. Kermit also received special emotional support training and Lulu was trained alongside dogs who will be therapy pets for veterans. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News.